Hey guys, today we're going to do a quick video on how to set up your GitLab SSH key with your computer. So this will allow you to clone repos that you have access to, pull, push, um, fetch changes without having to enter your email and password each time you're going to do one of those actions. Um, so this will just give you complete access over your GitLab account from your computer. And you could enter a local password that gives it an extra protection as well, but we can get into that. So to get started, go over, sign into GitLab, and then you can go over to your account up here, click on settings, and then go down to SSH keys. And from here, if it were me, I would be doing this for the first time, you can click on this generate one. Um, so if, to add an SSH key, you need to generate one. So you can click on this link, it'll open a new tab, and then we can go down and I usually use this RSA key, um, and you, so you can copy this command here. So let's copy this. So we're going to do an RSA key um, 2048 bits, and then you're going to enter our email. So copy that command, and then open a terminal on your computer. So let's paste that command here, and we're going to edit this email to your GitLab login email. So I'll just do a fake one for now, abcgmail.com. and then hit enter. So it's gonna ask you where to save the, the file to. You could just hit enter if you don't have one already. Since I have one already, I'm going to choose a different location. So I'll say users jake.ssh and I'll do ID two RSA. And then you could enter a passphrase for using this key. So when you're going to push from GitLab, or clone a repo, it will still ask you for, for this one password you're setting now, um, as opposed to entering both your GitLab email and password. So it's a little bit easier, or you could leave this empty if you want to just be able to have full access to your GitLab account from your computer without having to enter any password at all. Um, so normally for me, I leave it empty, but feel free to enter a password here just for extra protection over your GitLab account. So I'll leave it empty for now, and you just hit enter a password or leave it empty, hit enter, and then the same passphrase again, or nothing if you didn't add your own. And then you'll see your fingerprint. So this is a random RSA image. So now what we have to do is we it generated the key for us, both, both a public file and also the private key. What we want to do is co um, copy that public key to GitLab. So this way we can create the connection between our computer and the GitLab account. So to do that, you can do a, the cat command and then let's go into our home directory. So where we, wherever you save that ID file. So up here, when it was generating, it, it goes to the default here, which is users, your name, .ssh slash ID underscore RSA. Um, but I overwrote that and did ID two underscore RSA. So you can go to your home directory and then .ssh. And then if you look at all the files here, you can go to ID two RSA, and then make sure you add on a dot, dot pub after. So we're gonna get the public version of it. So hit that, and then we can, it's gonna print out the public token here. So let's copy all of this all the way down to your email. So you want everything to print it out. So take that, and then let's go back to GitLab. You're gonna paste that in this SSH keys box here. So the full thing, and then you can give it a title. You can say like MacBook Pro, ID2, since mine is the second one, or you can name it whatever you want. You can also set an expiration date. So if you want this key to expire at a certain time, uh, for example, if you want to change the key monthly, you could expire it in a month. And then next month you have to go change this again. Uh, so it's really up to you, or you could leave it empty and then it will just last forever. Um, so when you're done, just click add key. I'm not going to since it's a fake one, but you click add key. And then from there on out, you're pretty much all ready to use GitLab without having to enter your username and password um, on your computer, unless you chose a password for that um, token. In that case, you just have to enter, the, enter that one password you set. So that's pretty much it. And then you could do um, clone your repos you have access to, pull push from uh, GitLab, and you don't have to worry about entering your email and password each time. So feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions, and uh, thank you for watching.